question 12 a water reservoir in the form of a cone mounted on a hemisphere is built such that the plane face of the hemisphere fits exactly to the base of the cone and the height of the cone is six times the radius of its base. A part of the question illustrate this information in a diagram. B. If the volume of the reservoir is 333 whole number, 1 over 3 pi cube meters, calculate correct to the nearest whole number D. Roman figure 1, volume of the hemisphere. Roman figure 2, total surface area of the reservoir. So you have solution. This diagram represents the given information. You have a cone that is mounted on a hemisphere. The difference here is that the radius of the base that is arrow but the height of the cone is six times radius so instead of having h here you replace h with six arrow this is the slant height of the cone so let us proceed with this we have to get the radius first since the volume of the hemisphere since the volume of the reservoir is given once radius is known we can calculate the volume of the sphere and the total surface area of the reservoir so be part of the question volume of reservoir is equal to volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere from the question the volume of reservoir is this if you convert it to improper fraction you have 1000 over 3 pi cube meters volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi arrow square h so you have 1 over 3 pi is 22 over 7 the radius is unknown why the height is 6 arrow when you simplify this you have 2 pi arrow cube 2 pi arrow cube as the volume of the cone volume of hemisphere is 2 over 3 pi arrow cube we don't need any other adjustment here okay but you see that all the terms are in are in pi so we actually represent 27 over 2 again with pi since pi is contained in the volume of reservoir so that if you divide 3 by 6 or divide 6 and 3 now you have two remaining pi then arrow square times arrow is arrow cube it follows that volume of reservoir equal to volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere you divide through by pi if you do that you have 1000 over 3 equal to 2 arrow cube plus 2 over 3 arrow cube to clear the fractions multiply through by 3 if you multiply this term by 3 you are left with 1000 multiply this term by 3 you have 6 arrow cube multiply this term by 3 you have 2 arrow cube if you add the like terms in the right hand side you have 8 arrow cube so 1000 
is equal to 8 arrow cube. To get arrow cube first, divide both sides by 8. You have arrow cube equal to 1000 over 8 and that is 125. To get arrow, you take the cube root of both sides. So you have arrow equal to cube root of 125 and that is 5 meters. That is the value of the radius. Problem figure 1 of part B. You are asked to find the volume of a sphere. This is the formula. You simply replace pi with 22 over 7 and arrow with 5. So you have 2 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 5 cube. 2 times 22 is 44. 7 times 3 is 21. 5 cube is 1, 2, 5. If you multiply 44 by 1, 2, 5, you have 5,500. Divide by 21, you have 261.905. To the nearest whole number, you consider 261. The next number is more than 5. You round it up to 1 and add it to 261, and you have 262 cube meters as the volume of the hemisphere to the nearest whole number. Remember figure 2, total surface area of reservoir is equal to surface area of cone plus surface area of hemisphere. And that is pi arrow L for the cone plus 2 pi arrow square for the hemisphere. Now, the slant height is needed, and the cone we have on top of the hemisphere is a right circular cone. And there is relationship between the slant height, the, the height itself, and the radius by Pythagoras rule in this form. So, L square is equal to the height is 6 arrow. You square it plus arrow square. Now you have 6 times 5 because the radius is 5 from the previous part. 6 times 5 is 30. So you have 30 squared plus 5 square. That is 900 plus 2 5. And when you add, you have 925. To get L, take the square root of both sides so l is equal to square root of 8 of 9 to 5 and that is 30.41 meters therefore the total surface area of reservoir is equal to so you come back here now where you have pi as 22 over 7 times 5 the radius times the slant height that is 30.41 plus for the hemisphere you have 2 times pi 22 over 7 times radius 5 square if you simplify the part of the cone you have 477.871 if you simplify the part for the hemisphere you have 157.143. If you add together, you have 635.104. To the nearest whole number, you have 635 square meters as the total surface area of the reservoir. Peter calls simplified maths. If you are viewing and watching from YouTube, subscribe to the channel, like and share PSM videos. If you are watching from Facebook, follow
follow and like the page also share the excel video so this is the end of question 12 let us proceed to question 13 and the last question in this part 2